Press Pass with Jack Ebling, Mid Michigan Spirited Sports Debate. Now let's get talking sports. Here's Jack. Great evening, Mid Michigan and beyond. Happy Labor Day weekend and welcome to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time to meet Team 362, Jim Keaton Jr. Three sports stand out at Lansing Eastern. He is a 1980 Class A state basketball champion, football and baseball player at Arizona State University, NFL player, stops in Denver and New England, and he is a proud member of the Greater Lansing Area Sports Hall of Fame. Normally, at just about this time of year, Jim, you're getting ready to celebrate an Arizona State win over Michigan State. Yeah, Jack, it's kind of uh, unfortunate that not only do we not have the Arizona State game, but you know, we're, we're searching for college football in general. Well, we're going to have to have a reunion back out in Tempe. We'll go to the fountain. We'll have a great time out Looking there. forward to it. And you do a lot of important work now. Not that all of your athletic competition wasn't important, but you're doing some very important things with schools, right? Yeah, I work in East Lansing Public Schools as a paraprofessional and um, having a good time working with kids, just trying to get them to understand who and what they can be just with a little work and effort and, and discipline. Talk about the East Lansing Public Schools brings us to Tom Crawford, Blue Belly Tom, my broadcast partner since 2002. He is a creator of the Crawford Podcasting Network, a frequent contributor to the Wolverine.com, and he is the most frequent guest we have had in seven years of press passes, uh, dating back to September of 2013. That's midway through the Brady Hoke era oh, oh. in Ann Arbor. And Tom, a little bit different Saturday in September for you this week. Yeah, it was... Uh Labor Day. I mean, you got to go back 30 years when, when there wasn't college football on Labor Day. But speaking of press passes, I got my Michigan High School Athletic Association press pass for high school football. It came in the mail yesterday. I'm wearing it tonight. Very good. So a week from, or two, you know, less than two weeks now, high school football, Friday Night Lights here in the Greater Lansing. As far as yesterday, was it tougher for you not to be able to go to a game or thinking back to 2007, being there for the App State game or uh, 2014 when you went to South Bend and saw the Wolverines lose 31 to nothing, which was worse? Uh, what was worse that you texted me all those uh, bullet points, <laughs> including the App State game. He reminded me about that four or five times during the day, but I just blocked you as Rico Beard was saying. I, I got through the day. <laughs> we will be right back and we're going to have the big picture and we're going to be dealing with College athletics, college football in particular, the Big Ten and the Pac-12. You're going to hear from Kirk Herbstreet. A very emotional statement yesterday on ESPN Game Day. Up next. Families are reeling right now, enduring illness, losing their employers' plans and droves. They need lifelines now. My plan lowers health care costs gets us universal coverage quickly when Americans desperately need it. This is my promise to you. When I'm president, I will take care of your health care coverage and your family the same way I would my own. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. We are MEA, a foundation of collective strength, an advocate for education. K through 12 educators, support professionals, and higher education employees united to support our students, our schools, and our community. Together, we are the shield protecting every student's right to succeed. Michigan Education Association, champions for education. The internet's on sale. Get high-speed access from WOW. Now for only $39.99 per month. Super fast internet 100 with no contracts and double the speed for just $5 more for a limited time. Whether your insurance need is for business, farm, and agriculture, or protecting your home and auto, experience the benefit of a local agent who cares about you with the David Chapman Agency and Auto Owners Insurance. Visit davidchapmanagency.com. The NFL is back on Fox. 
Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you a free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at GrafOakamist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for The Big Picture, brought to you by Dean Transportation. Dean is hiring caring and dependable people as school bus drivers in many Michigan markets. Be a hero in your community and safely transport children to and from school with Dean. For more information and to apply, visit deantransportation.com slash jobs. That's deantransportation.com slash jobs. How do you listen to these stories and not feel pain and, and not, not want to help? You know what I mean? It's like the, wearing a hoodie and uh, putting, your, putting your, your hands at 10 and 2. Oh God, I better look out because I'm, I'm, I'm wearing Nike gear. Like what? What are we talking about? And so you can't relate to that if you're white, but you can listen and you can uh, try to help because this is not okay. It's just not. It's not. And uh, we just it, we got to do better, man. We got to we got to we got to like lock arm in arm and be together and in a football locker room. That stuff is gone. It, those barriers are gone. We got to do better. I think he's speaking for an awful lot of us. Uh, Tom Crawford, you were touched by the emotional outpouring uh, from Kirk Herb Street. Not bad for a Buckeye. Uh, where are we? in terms of social justice with the progress that's been made when we're starting to see and hear some of the blowback in people who do not want politics in sports. Well, we got a long ways to go, and I, I, I love Kirk Herbstreit. I, I relate to him so much. He, he loves golden retrievers, he has twin kids, and uh, <laughs> he's emotional, and he, we saw that emotion. And I feel for, I'm right with it. And he's has credibility. I mean, he he's covered the sport of college football. He played at the highest level of college football at Ohio State in the early '90s. And you know, with, with mixed locker rooms of, of black and white, and he can relate and understand all this. And I thought the message is right. I mean, just you can't just say it. I mean, you white people have got to care as much as people of color have to care. You, we have to bond together on that as a joint effort if anything's going to get done. Jim Keaton, what's the number one thing that has to happen in the divided states of America, and what is the number one obstacle to that? Uh, the number one obstacle, Jack, is, is ourselves. Um, I think in, until we're able to look at each other just as, as human beings, you know, over the course of history, um, there's been many situations where things haven't played out the way they needed to. Um, you know, I can tell you from personal, personal experience, being a, a son of a black father and a white mother, um, I whooped everybody, Jack. I whooped the black guys when they talked about the white guys. I whooped the white guys when they talked about the black guys. Yeah. And I got into it with the Mexicans when I didn't understand what they were saying. But the reality is, is we have to have, we have, to have communication. We have to talk. Yeah. And we have to be able to to recognize each other as human beings. Tom, uh, we have seen different leaders react differently to this. Certainly Jim Harbaugh's been out front, Mel Tucker, a lot of people have, but we saw Nick Saban lead a march in Tuscaloosa this week, and that was not particularly popular, but at least the SEC is playing football this fall. 
What about the Big Ten and the Pac-12? When will we see college football, and when should we see college football? Well, I, and all due respect to Jim Keaton, I, I'm not, I don't care about the Pac-12. I'm talking <laughs> about the Big Ten right now. <laughs> and I think we should see college football at the Big Ten level on October 10th. If you're going to do it Thanksgiving, which was the other thing that floated around, yeah. you might as well start October 10th. And the spring and winter thing, right when, you know, right now, when everybody's indoors and uh, typically the, you know, viruses spike, I don't see that part. You're playing an exhibition slate. Do it right now. If you're going to do it, if you're going to have students on campus, why can't you have a college football team participate when they have a, you know, a basic, a capsule environment with a lot of testing and contact tracing? I don't understand. If you play football, you got to convince six Big Ten presidents, you got to flip from three to nine to get 60%. Tom, you've done 180 on this I have. a little bit, but uh, Jim, you were bringing up that there are still uh, so many unknowns, so many uncertainties, and after the first few fatalities, will people change their mind? Yeah, I think that um, we don't have enough information. It comes back to, to having information, and, and Tom apparently thought I was Rico over here throwing all that gas this way. <laughs> yeah. But the Pac-10 or the Pac-12 is is doing the right thing in my opinion. The Big Ten is doing the right thing in my opinion. Um, until we have more information on, on how we can stop this disease, it's difficult for me for the opportunity to I might lose a loved one. We have a list of schools uh, that won't even supply data. They won't even let us know what the COVID-19 count is on campus. And when you have something like that, uh, there's a lot of uncertainty. And uh, they're determined to try something at some point, but I don't think it's yet. We'll be right back on Press Pass. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to the delicious. So, I got my start in officiating when a friend told me I should try it. At first, I just did basketball, and I got hooked. Before long, I added baseball, softball, football, and volleyball. I really enjoy giving back to the game, working with kids, and working with my local association to recruit and train new officials. I would like to say to anybody that officiating is a great way to help kids and stay connected to the game. We always need new officials. There's help wanted, just listen. Step up to the X Mark Radius, the commercial zero turn that's taken the industry by storm. Now available for as little as $49.99 with X Mark, you'll get a great looking professional quality cut in less time every time. From the Mowers Landscape Pros Trust 2 to 1 over the next best selling brand of zero turn mowers. X Mark, ready to work for you. Get your X Mark today at DNG Equipment in Mason, Howell, Highland, Corona, and Williamston. Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Cool. Redefined. At Applegate, home comfort means our licensed technicians make your comfort their priority. It means serving you like family, because that's what a family-owned business does. It means helping you make smart investments in your home, thanks to our expertise and the latest home comfort technology. So take comfort in Applegate Home Comfort, the real local company since 1952. AC maintenance is just $79.95. Schedule your appointment today at AppleGateHomeComfort.com. Time to get your game on. Sports wagering is now open at the all-new Daisy Sportsbook and Tap House, only at Fire Keepers. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Going Green segment, brought to you by Graf Chevrolet and Graf Nissan on West Grand River in Oakland. With 106 years in the automobile business, they'll take great care of you. So they have on all seven of my recent purchases for a new or used vehicle. Go green, go Graf. 
last week. MSU Athletics announced a partnership with the Michigan Department of State to encourage civic engagement and nonpartisan voter participation among MSU students, student athletes, alumni, fans, and employees. We are encouraging all Spartans all across the country to register to vote and participate in your local, state, and national elections. You can register to vote by visiting the Secretary of State's website and using their step-by-step -step guide or by printing out the voter registration form and mailing it to your local election office. You can also register to vote in person. Contact your local election office for more information about where and when to register to vote. I'm registered. Are you? I'm registered. 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 We're registered. Are you? There you see the 2020 21 Spartans and Tom Crawford. What does it mean that uh, Michigan State's basketball team, a program that is revered and respected, not just locally, but pretty much all around the state, is involved in this kind of a get out the vote campaign, something that's not universally embraced? I think it's tremendous. And, uh, you know, kudos to the editor of that commercial. I mean, that was produced very well, and the, and the players did a superb job. That's what the Tom Izzo for getting behind it. I just think it's good because it's it's time for athletes to step outside the lines and, and you know to to embrace what's going on in our country and, and to send that message. That's going to carry a lot of weight, and it shows everybody that there's these student athletes are more than just student athletes. I mean, they're people and they're real and they're they're really conveying a terrific message. I think. Uh, Jim Keaton, uh, Tom Izzo will tell anyone who listens how much he hates politics. But how important is it that he is involved in something like this and gets behind it? I think it's important, Jack. Anytime you have a polarizing figure like, like Coach Izzo, people are going to listen. And more than anything else right now, we need to be able to communicate information. Uh, athletes are role models whether we like it or not. And Coach Izzo, being a high-profile uh, basketball coach, having coached many great players, uh, and a great person himself, it, we, we, he's up on that pedestal. We look at him. We're looking for him to, to reassure us in a way. And um, so he, he doesn't have a responsibility, but I'm very happy that he's taken on that responsibility uh, to help us to, to feel safe and to give us encouragement and coach us up about what we need to do. Pretty polarizing in Washtenaw County, but uh, popular in the rest of the state, I would say. Uh, Tom Crawford, we want to take a look at the past decade and combined victories for NCAA teams in football and basketball. And here you see the top five Oregon Ducks, the most successful combined football and basketball teams in terms of wins. What stands out to you? Well, there's a lot of basketball. When you know, Kentucky and Duke are not real football, you know, as far as the combination, they're getting heavy from from basketball. I, I, listen, I'm 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 huge on a school being good in two sports, football and basketball, because you can play one off the other. It brands the school. When you're recruiting, you have your your recruits for football go to the basketball game and vice versa. I just think it's terrific, and and I think for the most part, Michigan, Michigan State are as good a Two, two sports schools there are in the country. Yeah. Jim, uh, Michigan State moved into first place in Big Ten history in the number of five-star recruits. I wanted to take a look at that list. Uh, what does it say that Michigan State landed three five-star prospects in roughly a month over this offseason? That's more than the bottom eight schools on this list combined in their history. I think that long-term hard work pays off. There's been many years where uh, we haven't gotten those guys that Coach Izzo has gone after, but he continued to pursue them. I, I think it's a situation where the, the productivity and the success that they've had yielded that, uh, that crop of young men that have decided to come here. And, and I look forward to them all getting here and playing and, and enjoying some basketball. Uh, we look forward to talking about the NBA, some exciting playoff action up next here on Press Pass. When you think of a bank, you think of people in a place. But when you have the Chase Mobile app, your bank can be virtually any place. So when you get a check, you can deposit it from here. And you can see your transactions and check your balance from here. You can detect suspicious activity on your account from here. And you can pay your friends back from here. 
So when someone asks you, where's your bank? You can tell them, here's my bank. Or, here's my bank. Or, here's my bank. Because if you download and use the Chase mobile app, your bank is virtually any place. So visit chase.com slash mobile. A new day dawns and we greet it with gratitude. Thankful for the heroes on the front lines taking big risks daily to keep us safe. We at Dean Transportation stand at the ready with them, supporting our communities in their time of need. We've been delivering food and medical supplies, volunteering our time, and boosting morale to keep spirits high. Our passengers may have temporarily changed, but our commitment to transporting your most precious cargo has never wavered. Dean Transportation, working together Delivering the good. LA's Finest premieres September 21st on Fox. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. The Ticket Machine is your local connection to concert, theater, and sporting event tickets nationwide. Our entertainment experts are ready to help you create a memorable experience, trusted by fans for more than 20 years. Whether you're looking for tickets for your corporate outing, family excursion, or vacation, we offer the best seats and the best prices. Grab a front row seat now on theticketmachine.com. What happens to a child who can't read by third grade? They're four times less likely to graduate high school. If that child lives in poverty, they're 13 times less likely to graduate. Now, more than ever, children need books. Luckily, you can help. Buy a book for a child today. Fox 47 and the Scripps Howard Foundation will match the first $5,000 donated to this year's If You Give a Child a Book campaign. Find out more at fox47news.com. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Take It to the Bank segment, brought to you by Dart Bank. Dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 90 years, with four convenient locations in Mason, Holton South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded Home Loan Center in Frandor. That's Dart Bank for what matters most. And I thought he had an and one, but a great finish by Van Vliet. And now Boston's gonna hold for the last shot. And a chance to go up 3-0. Toronto does have a foul to give. Walker of the double team gets by. Walker dishes. Tice with the dunk with .5 left. We're going to be switching everything back here. Marcus Smart's going to stay up high, taking anybody coming to the ball. Series on the line. Adonomi got it open. And it goes. Did it count is the question. Unbelievable end to game three of that Toronto-Boston series. Celtics were up 2-0. Looked like they might really have the defending world champs in trouble. Jim Keaton, have you ever seen an ending like that with five points scored in a half second? Uh, the only thing I can remember, Jack, that comes close to that is Reggie Miller with the Knicks oh, yeah. game. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not sure that was in the playoffs. I can't remember. But yeah. but yeah. that's the only thing I can remember. But it was it was unbelievable. Um, I know that the guys at TNT were talking about why they were in the zone and the only thing that could beat you was a three. Why would why would you leave a guy open? Yeah. Um, you know, bottom line is it was a great game, great shots and uh, great opportunities for guys to step up and be successful for their team. And I am a big fan of the great pass and you saw two of the best you'll ever see Kemba Walker with that no look dump down to Daniel Thice for the dunk and then Kyle Lowry with this ad lib cross court throw it in a thimble pass to OG Ananobi and it had to be right here couldn't o be here over a seven foot six taco yeah taco uh, fall. fall yeah and uh and in the in the the Walker pass I had high school flashbacks with Sam coming to me except minus the dunk Tom Crawford, uh, maybe we forget sometimes the words of Rudy Tomjanovich. Don't ever underestimate the heart of a champion. We saw that again, and Toronto says, not so fast, my friend. 
Yeah, they did it, and only in the NBA you can get a shot off like that in .5. But I mean, they flipped the they flipped the script, and then they get the seven point win last night. So now it's two two. Um, I you know, but there's something uh, watching the playoffs. I don't know what it is. There's no since there's no home court advantage. It just it has an entirely different feel. Yeah. It's much more difficult to predict what's going to go on in these playoffs with the NBA. Uh, Jim, heading into tonight's Rockets-Lakers game, which is probably ending just about now, uh, we have seen the lower-seeded team do very well. We have had 11 games in the second round of the playoffs, seven upsets. I think, Jack, it's a situation where environment does matter. Mm. Home field advantage does matter. The 12th man in football, the, 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 the crowd getting you, bringing you back into a game, not letting you lose. Um, and, and being in that bubble, all things being equal, it's kind of like a scrimmage. You're getting ready and preparing for a scrimmage, and you're not always ready to play in scrimmage games right. like you are when you get into the arena and the electricity is so high that you're amped up and ready to go regardless of whether you, you could play or not. Tom, what's impressed you most throughout this NBA postseason? Well, a couple things today in the same game. Um, going into the game, Miami uh, 3-0. Yeah. Over the Bucks. I mean, come on, and that's a top seed. And and then yet today, you know, Giannis goes down and yeah. the Bucks come back and win in overtime without him when they're up against the wall. That was impressive. But I'm gonna go up what Jim talked about, the, the lack of a crowd. I'm curious to see how LeBron James, I remember that comment several months ago, well, I gotta play in front of fans. Yeah. Is he gonna be a different player without fans? And can the Lakers you know, turn it. They're down 1-0 as we as we speak at the moment and during this taping. But it's going to be interesting to see how the Lakers do going down the stretch in these playoffs without fans. Yeah, and uh, we've got 1-1 with the Clippers and the Nuggets. Gary Harris coming back just in time to do some big things. Uh, doesn't have to shoot it great to have an impact on that game. And James Harden, Arizona State, right? Of all the people you think could win a game with this defense. It's, it's been a, a tremendous uh, series, I think, for guys that haven't had the opportunity to be known as defensive players. I think that uh, I had heard that, that, that Coach D'Antoni hadn't had the, the uh, Rockets in a defensive stance all year, but now all of a sudden they're the best defensive team in the NBA. Um, but the desire to win the environment that they're in, I think, are all conducive pieces where they don't have to listen to as much chatter, but they can be ready to play and take on the challenge. And Gary Harris certainly took on the challenge defensively and knocked down those threes when they needed him to fourth. When he came from behind and had that bat away, knocked the ball up, that was a gigantic play. We'll be back in just a minute, and we're going to look at the MHSAA fall season. Yes, there will be one. We'll be right back with that and more on Press Pass. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. A new day dawns and we greet it with gratitude, thankful for the heroes on the front lines taking big risks daily to keep us safe. We at Dean Transportation stand at the ready with them, supporting our communities in their time of need. We've been delivering food and medical supplies, volunteering our time, and boosting morale to keep spirits high. Our passengers may have temporarily changed, but our commitment to transporting your most precious cargo has never wavered. Dean Transportation, working together delivering the good. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. W Superstar Otis reminding you that SmackDown is all new this Friday on Fox 47. We are. 
MEA, a foundation of collective strength, an advocate for education. K-12 educators, support professionals, and higher education employees united to support our students, our schools, and our community. Together, we are the shield protecting every student's right to succeed. Michigan Education Association, champions for education. The NFL kicks off this week, presented by MSU Federal Credit Union and Michigan Center for Truck Safety. For the past six years, the Michigan Lottery has recognized outstanding educators from across the state with the Excellence in Education Awards. Congratulations, Megan Sidge, the Michigan Lottery's 2020 Educator of the Year. Take the time today to nominate an outstanding public educator for an Excellence in Education Award. Welcome back to Press Path here on Fox 47. Time for our Champions 2020 segment, brought to you by the Michigan Education Association. The MEA's members, educators from across our state, are proud of this year's high school graduates. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Learn more at MEA.org. There you see the start of a release Thursday from the Michigan High School Athletic Association Communications Director John Johnson. And if you want to read the whole thing and find out all the details, you can do that at uh, MHSAA.com. Jim Keaton, were you surprised that the MHSA wasted no time once they got the word from the executive order from Governor Gretchen Whitmer that it was going to be okay? And suddenly they got a plan. Yeah, Jack, I was not surprised. I, I know that around the state, these smaller communities especially, um, football is, is huge in those communities. They're, they're, they're binding forces, they're um, economic forces, and, and the fact that we had the, the rally at the Capitol with, with teams and families coming there. People want to play football. I know that. Uh, Darren was involved in uh, a program last week up in Midland mm -hmm. uh, where they just got kids together to play seven on seven. So there's a real desire to get out there and play. Um, and the fact that, you know, he kept his kids, uh, or MHSAA kept their kids practicing, yeah. still going in anticipation, hoping that something might change. So uh, not, not surprised, uh, just hope everything goes smoothly. Tom Crawford, I know how much you care about high school football, and I think the key word here is preparation, not pressure. A lot of people were saying, you know, there's all these backroom deals and all this stuff is being brought to bear on, on Whitmer, and then uh, she's meeting with Mark Ewell from the MHSAA, and we had Mark on the show, and he said they had not had one-to-one, one-on-one conversations about this stuff, but they were ready when the word came down. No, it's like, it's like Jim said. I mean, Mark had all, he had all 256 teams or whatever there are in high school football prepared. They're still working out. I'd see East Lansing have workouts, go to Hazlitt, see those guys, the Vikings working out. You know, just they're going through the routine and they're fighting. Now the kids are a little down about it and all of a sudden, boom, all this magic moment comes on Thursday. Uh, oh, kids are getting text messages. I know a lot of parents who still have kids play high school football. They're absolutely thrilled. I'm thrilled the big challenge is, you know, what, two tickets per kid? Yeah. Um, <laughs> how are they going to, you know, it's, some of the stuff's going to be really interesting how they're going to manage all this yeah. stuff. And I, at Cheapskate Hill in East Lansing, they're going to be crowding around the fence. How do you manage that? I mean, I just, right. I, it's going to be interesting uh, in a week from Friday whenever those first games start. It would be interesting that some athletes often make a, make a decision, you know, does their dad go or does their girlfriend go? And we'll see uh, who really ranks where on this pecking order. Jim, what does this mean for mid-Michigan athletes, of which you were a distinguished one, uh, especially those in the Lansing School District? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm happy for the young men that, that they're going to get an opportunity to play, because especially our seniors. Um, because some of them, last time they put pads on ever in their lives. And, and having that experience, you know, when they get together 50 years from now, sitting around uh, a fire, talking about what they used to do, I mean, those are memories that you can never take away. Right. Um, the kids in Lansing, I just hope that, um, that, that they're able to, to put together a season that is, is safe um, 
and at the same time, uh, you know, I know we got two weeks. I'm hoping that that's enough. And these kids have been working and staying in shape, and um, it's all new. Yeah. Uh, all I can do is, is just hope, hope for the best. More than 75% of the schools are expected to play. How close they'll get to 100%, we don't know. I'm sure there will be some that will decide not to. And Tom, there's even talk with an all-comers postseason, just like the high school basketball tournament, that they may go to 10 divisions instead of eight. Yeah, you're going to you're probably to get everything squeezed in by December 4th or whatever that you know final date is. They're not going to be able to use Ford Field, but it'll be an exterior field that week. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. This is the same Ohio state of Ohio model, which I marveled at a few weeks ago. You know, play six games and nothing, you get seven games because everybody's in the tournament. Right. Hey, you want to have a long, you want to have a nine, ten game season? Win games. Yeah. So I think it's going to be interesting for sure and, and a lot of fun. Could play as many as 11. You wonder who the big winners are. Everyone said, well, what about the players who are going to get discovered? Guess what? If you're going into your senior year and the schools don't know about you, it's not likely they're going to find out from some game video. But the big winners are the players that this is the last time they will ever play. And 20 years from now, when they have reunions, they're going to be a lot better players than they are today. Absolutely. Just those stories, those memories. I'm glad they get a chance to participate in high school athletics and find out exactly why it is so important. When we get back, we're going to talk about the Detroit Tigers. Very strange week. Started and ended great. In between, lots of heartbreak. Find out where the Tigers are now at the two-thirds mark of the season. We'll be right back with that and more coming up. Tracking a trophy next. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to completely resolve your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you can save, call now. 1-800-922-1305. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk to call. Credit Associates, live better, debt free. Find out how easy it is by calling now. For the secret the credit card companies don't want you to know, call Credit Associates now and see how much money you could save for free. Call 1-800-922-1305. A new day dawns and we greet it with gratitude. Thankful for the heroes on the front lines taking big risks daily to keep us safe. We at Dean Transportation stand at the ready with them, supporting our communities in their time of need. We've been delivering food and medical supplies, volunteering our time, and boosting morale to keep spirits high. Our passengers may have temporarily changed, but our commitment to transporting your most precious cargo has never wavered. Dean Transportation, working together delivering the good. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. All of your secrets. I used to wet my bed. Ross used to wear leg warmers. Your little man is brilliant. I'm still season's pediatrician. Chandler entered a vanilla ice lookalike contest and won. <laughs> Ross came in fourth and cried. <laughs> Joey was in a porno movie. <laughs> Ross married Rachel in Vegas and got divorced again. But they love you anyway. Friends. Friends comes to Fox 47 and My 47 September 14. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Tracking a Trophy segment, brought to you by the Ticket Machine at the corner of Mount Hope and Hagedorn. For the best in sports and entertainment ticketing, whenever those events resume, go to theticketmachine.com. I think the Twins are 
going to have to take what he gives you. He's going to try and induce soft contact. you got to use the big part of the field off this guy. And the payoff pitch, a swing and a fly ball into left field and deep. Stewart going back on the track. Stewart at the wall, jumps up, that's gone. Leadoff home run, Polanco. Polanco's fourth homer this season, a leadoff shot, a 3-2 count. And the Twins strike first and take a 1-0 lead. Now Donaldson made his return to the Twins lineup on Wednesday night, missed all of August with a right calf injury. A swing and a drive into center field, that's it deep. Back it goes, deep it goes, and that ball's gone. What a start to this doubleheader. Well, uh, you heard the announcer say you have to take what he gives you. If he gives you a gopher ball, you might as well take it. <laughs> and two batters in, the Twins had a 2 nothing lead, and that's all the scoring. <laughs> it seems weird to have doubleheaders that are 14 innings, seven innings in each game. But, Jim, what have we learned about the 2020 Tigers when they battle back from a nine-game losing streak, and then they go on a run, and then this week they have uh, four straight losses, but they come back today from 6-2 and 7-5 deficits to win. Youth uh, is wasted on the young. <laughs> uh, but I think that the reality is, is I, I, I'm excited about uh -huh. what I see. Um, when you're young, you have to play. You got to get minutes. You got to have reps. And, and Coach Guidenhart keeps throwing those young guys out there. Some of the older guys are, are, are stepping in when they need to, but I'm excited. But one of the things about youth is you're going to have lots of highs and lots yeah. of lows, and that's what we're seeing right now. And this, you know, we talked off camera earlier. Um, I they remind me a lot of those of that that Marlins team. I think it was in oh with Miggy and yeah and, yeah. Dontre Willis That's a championship team. The, yeah, it uh, became before, a championship. Yeah. They, they, they got the right pieces, and we still got young guys like like my guy Torgerson. We yeah, had, yeah. The Tigers' future is bright. The problem with the future is you got to bring it to you. It's it's in front of you, and right now it's fans. You know we're a microwave society, so we want things right now. Exactly. But I think they got. I think they have a bright future. And you see guys like Tarek Skubal and Casey Mize, and they have what looks like great stuff. They can't quite sustain it, can't quite finish it. Tom Crawford, with what you have seen thus far and the resiliency from this team, when a lot of people said, oh, they're toast. That team won't win 20 games. Are you encouraged? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Ducked off what Jim said. Ryan Gardenhire, he, he's an enthusiastic guy. With this is third year. His teams play hard. They really do. And so, so when the pitching goes down, so in these last 11 games, I think they've ended up with seven wins out of that last seven, They're the peaks and valleys that we talked about. But I want to I, – I tuned in today as long as Casey Mize was in the game. And then when he, when he left <laughs> the game, I went over to the NBA and watched that because I'm not saying he's theatrical like Mark Fidrich's back in 1976, but he's a really intriguing pitcher to watch. I mean, the way he can move the ball on the corners and things like that, he's got terrific – potential, a lot of upside, that's something to get excited about. Yeah. Jim, uh, you have played a ton of competitive baseball, one of the best high school players we've ever had in this area. And then with the Sun Devils, a program that had pros all over the roster, uh, when you look at what these guys are doing right now, what's the biggest difference for them and uh, what's the big problem, especially for guys who haven't played a lot of ball? Well, I think... Um not having again that that home field advantage yeah. not having that electricity in the stands um they don't get booed yeah but you don't get excited either okay. you don't get you don't have that uh that guy that's ribbing you at the away game about you know uh, the streak in your shorts or uh <laughs> how your hair isn't quite right and and those things that help to motivate you and then after you hit the the dinger you you go by and just wink at them you know there's there's all the baseball is a lot of uh give and take and and chatter and yeah so there's a lot going on now without fans uh, a lot of that chirping is 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 not as uh, easily hidden. Well, they don't have the crowd noise pumped in the way they're going to 
in the NFL. It's going to be very interesting to see if quarterbacks then start to quiet the non-crowd <laughs> or if, uh, you know, there's too much noise and guys are still uh, jumping offside. Uh, Tom, when you think about where baseball is, we've seen what the NBA has done successfully, what the NHL has done. Baseball had some fits and starts and some rough stretches. Do you think they're going to make it through? Are they going to finish the postseason? Uh, yes, I do, Jack. I mean, yeah, they had the rough start with the Marlins and the Car Marlins, was a train wreck, and the Cardinals as well, and a few other teams, but they've been kind of smoothing things out. I've been actually really impressed with how the MLB has done handling the COVID. We'll be right back. We're going to talk Detroit Lions. Cynthia Freeland from the NFL Network. The Pride of Okemos will join us by Zoom up next. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner, and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. It's the four day Super Labor Day sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Check out the Summit Firm for only $189.99. Or save 15% on all Casper mattresses and 10% on accessories. Take 25% off our entire Doctor's Choice lineup and save up to $200 on Rejuvenate adjustable bases. Plus seven years no interest and free shipping right to your doorstep. Hurry, the four day Super Labor Day sale ends Monday. The Drew Barrymore Show premieres September 14th on Fox 47 and My 47. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our Peace of Mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. You're out. There's an old saying, you can never have too many officials. The age of the average official is 52 and getting older all the time. We're constantly recruiting new people, younger people to join us. After you register with the MHSAA, look on the website to find an officials association near you. They'll put you in a position to succeed as an official. We all learned a lot from high school sports, and officiating is a great way to give back to the game. There's help wanted, just whistle. They know all of your secrets. I used to wet my bed. Ross used to wear leg warmers. Your little man is Muriel. I still see this pediatrician. Chandler entered a vanilla ice lookalike contest and won. <laughs> Ross came in fourth and cried. Joey was in a porno movie. <laughs> Ross married Rachel in Vegas and got divorced again. But they love you anyway. Friends. Friends comes to Fox 47 and My 47 September 14. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Law of the Jungle segment, brought to you by Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, your healthy alternative to fast food. Eat Woody's and live longer. That's why I'm there every week. Peterson sets up a high back position. He'll take it. There's a hole. Peterson and Adrian Peterson with a first down and a nice run. Now we know why he was the first running back taken. Third down and five. Pressure. The dink. Peterson holds on, and he's still going. And this will be a touchdown for Adrian Peterson, his first NFL regular season touchdown. And here is Peterson. Peterson breaks one oh. tackle, changes direction, and here is Peterson driving to the end zone, and Tillman is blocked, and Peterson gets in for the score. First and There you see a cinch Hall of Famer Long striding Adrian Peterson, the newest Detroit Lion. More on him in just a minute. But we want to welcome the pride of Okemos, Cynthia Freeland from the NFL Network analytics expert. Cynthia, welcome to the show. Even if it is remotely, that's just our second Zoom guest. Welcome home. Oh, well, I'm glad to be the second Zoom guest. And thank you for having me. I'm so glad to be home, even if just over teleconference. <laughs> Well, the Lions this morning announcing a one-year, $1.05 million deal with 
Adrian Peterson, what does that mean? How much tread left on those tires? Well, it's interesting that he's no longer in Washington. However, I do believe Ron Rivera when he said he still has a lot of football left in him, he being Adrian Peterson. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I think on early downs, Adrian Peterson's going to be really effective, especially since we don't really know what's going on with DeAndre Swift. He looks to be a little bit banged up. We're not sure what the timeline for return is. And obviously, there are injury concerns with Carry on Johnson just over the course of his career. So I do think that it's going to be a really fascinating case study in Adrian Peterson returning to the NFC North. Maybe hopefully he can get like, you know, get one on the Vikings and maybe like a 78 yard touchdown, something crazy like that. <laughs> Cynthia, when we talk about injured Lions, that brings us to Matthew Stafford, who was playing at a Pro Bowl level last year until they shut him down with those recurring back problems. If he is healthy with more weapons than he has ever had in Detroit, could he be a candidate for NFL Comeback Player of the Year? Yes, I think the only thing that could overshadow him is maybe like the Alex Smith story, which is just the most ridiculous story kind of in football. So heartwarming and amazing. Right. But Matthew Stafford is every single season underrated. I love him in fantasy. I love him in, as an actual quarterback. He's one of the biggest, brightest spots on this Lions team. And I definitely think between all of the weapons that he has and another year with the same offensive coordinator and kind of learning the system a little bit better and perhaps a run game for maybe the first time in his entire career, I think this could be the type of season where Matthew Stafford just blows everyone away and the expectation just out of the water. Why is everyone always so critical of Matthew Stafford besides the fact that he doesn't have a playoff win, but he does so many other things right. He hasn't had a lot of help. And uh, he's done a lot of things in the community. Now the University of Georgia, Center for Social Justice, been a pretty important player in the city of Detroit. Yeah, he's an important player just league-wide. You know, I think kind of the same thing that helps him in terms of how he's viewed by Michiganders is might be the same thing that kind of hurts him nationally. He's not loud and boisterous and yelling at you, or he's not giving horrible press conferences where you just get these sound bites that get played over and over again across the entire sports media landscape. Right. So that's great for us admiring him and me like loving him as my quarterback for my team that I that I follow. Right. It's kind of great for making a sound bite, you know, like you don't get those sound bites and then people kind of, you know, he doesn't say things like I'm feeling dangerous or I woke up feeling dangerous. Right. Or, you know, he doesn't wear loud, crazy outfits. So you can see Cynthia on the NFL Network and you can catch her Sunday mornings with all of her analytics. Great job and we will talk to her again during the season. We'll be right back. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at graphochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. A new day dawns and we greet it with gratitude. Thankful for the heroes on the front lines taking big risks daily to keep us safe. We at Dean Transportation stand at the ready with them, supporting our communities in their time of need. We've been delivering food and medical supplies, volunteering our time, and boosting morale to keep spirits high. Our passengers may have temporarily changed, but our commitment to transporting your most precious cargo has never wavered. Dean Transportation, working together, delivering the good. Just make a left right here. I know how to get there. Dude, the app says there's a shortcut. The app up. sucks. I know LA. Gangs and narcotics. Bodies dropping. These people are dangerous. Yeah, me too. It's a party up in here. I got this. Clearly. No matter what happens, we have each other's back. Wow. Let me take you to the lake again. I know a guy. I'm a Heat fan. What? I know a guy. LA's Finest premieres September 21st on Fox. Download the Fox 47 News app and stay connected everywhere you go. We are MEA, a foundation of collective strength, an advocate for education. K-12 educators, support professionals, and higher education employees united to support our students, our schools, and our community. Together, we are the shield protecting every student's right to succeed. Michigan Education Association. Champions for education. 
Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our cool and smooth segment brought to you by four great Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. Okemos North and South, North Lansing, and West Lansing. Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butter burgers and premium frozen custard. Swing through any Culver's drive through and grab your fresh favorites. That's Culver's. Welcome to Delicious. They're all in line. We're ready for the start. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. Authentic did not break on the lead here. Tis the law is out quickly. Storm the court is right there too with New York traffic and now Authentic is moving to their inside, outside to be a part of the pace and now take over as they race bias for the first time. On the outside of Authentic, these two stride for stride as they come to the final furlong. Authentic is dragging in. Tis the law all up to get by him. Authentic and John Velasquez have the lead as they come down to the 16th ball. Tis the law still trying to get him. Authentic. Tis the law. Here's the buyer. Authentic has won the Kentucky Derby. John Velasquez does it with Authentic. Tis the law has to settle for second. And then it was Mr. Big News. Honor AP ends up fourth. Two minutes, point six one seconds was the final time for Authentic. Bob Baffert has done it for the sixth time. Authentic, and it isn't often that you see the top two horses, the first two finishers start from the far outside post positions, but that's what we had here with Tis the Law and Authentic. And Authentic had kind of a funky break, turned and looked over the fence, and then uh, started to run and took the lead. Tis the Law drew even, and you thought, okay, here's where this Triple Crown winner to be is going to really exert his ability, and it didn't happen. So authentic is your winner, and decidedly, decisively so. Bob Baffert with the sixth Kentucky Derby tying the record. All right, Team 362, who has been as cool and smooth as a Culver's Mint Explosion this week? Jim Keaton, what do you have for our play of the week? Well, Jack, I have, I have, a, I have two. I'm, I'm gonna the, the Kimber Walker pass. You, you, you can't not, that, but that's gonna be my close. Looks second. like one of yours. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna go with 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 the the MACSAA uh -huh. and getting giving these young men an opportunity to play. I just I just hope and pray everything goes goes well and people are smart and stay safe and we have a good season. How about that? Pretty good. I think a lot of people would approve of that. Tom Crawford, uh, you've had great success with your team of the week. What do you have for us? <laughs> you know, I was I was gonna be Lock City and the Miami Heat. You know, they're a 3 0, and I think yeah. we were texting back, and you go, I think that's a team of the week. And I, you know, and I was feeling, oh, they're going to win on uh, today. And they, and they were ahead, and they, and they, you know, they lost in overtime. I'm still going to keep them team of the week. You know, I, I really am, because I'm telling you what, they were, they're playing the Milwaukee Bucks. I mean, that's a top yeah. seed, and they're still going to win this thing. And watch the Miami Heat play the LA Lakers for the NBA Championship Series, and they will win. The NBA championship. It's it's a COVID year. It's a unique year. It's gonna be the Miami Heat are gonna be your NBA champions. You heard wow. it here first. Wow! If Miami beats the Lakers, do they get LeBron back? <laughs> <laughs> I, there's a, there's another twist to that, that story. Yeah. For our player of the week, uh, first of all, uh, I want to give a shout out to Patrick Mahomes. Uh, not only does he get that ring, maybe you saw the ring ceremony. That's weight training, lifting that thing, and then he proposes to Brittany, his high school sweetheart, the same night. And uh, that's pretty cool. Ten years that relationship's been going. Uh, Novak Djokovic, you know, here he is at the U.S. Open. He's frustrated. He hits that ball and goes across and hits a line judge, and he's disqualified. How about that? But I want to give a shout-out to American labor because that is the secret to the success of this country, the labor force, I don't care how much you make, I care if you make a difference. And there are so many people here in mid-Michigan who are unsung heroes with that. Congratulations and happy Labor Day weekend. Jim Keaton, Tom Crawford, appreciate you joining us. See you next week, everyone.